I Beg Your Pardon, written by David W. Daniels. Second National Bank. Stick him up, please. Please don't shoot. Nobody follow me, or else. Have a nice day. Wait, stop. I politely warned you. Boom, boom, boom. Now have a nice day. The mannerly bandit strikes. Will justice be served? That's the man. I'd know that face anywhere. That's the mannerly bandit. Me? But I'm innocent. Guilty. Gentlemen Jim, you are hereby sentenced to hang by the neck until dead. But it could have been anyone behind that mask. We all looked alike in the lineup. Don't worry. You won't be here long, huh? This case was appealed all the way up to the governor. Meanwhile, back in the prison, you're as guilty as sin, gentlemen Jim. But you don't understand. This will be you soon enough. Please, someone listen to me. <laughs> I'll give you a cut of the loot if you get me out of here. I know a guard. Let me talk to him. The next night. Psst, gentlemen Jim, get up. It's time. You'll never get out of here alive, gentlemen Jim. Meanwhile at the state house. Look at the evidence, Governor. By George, you're right. He looks like every man. They could have sent anyone to prison with that evidence. They could be hanging an innocent man. Here, son, take this pardon and my fastest horse. I hope we're not too late. Faster, yeah. The hangman was already testing the gallows. Stop the hanging. It's here, a full pardon. It's signed by the governor. You're free to go. I have it here in my hand, see? I don't believe you. I'm nobody's fool. I won't get tricked again. Just sign your name to the pardon and you're a free man. You're lying. The governor wouldn't do that. He's my daddy. He wouldn't lie to you. Look, you have to take it. I can't force it on you. Then I refuse. And so later that morning, and he could have gone free. How foolish. He only died because he rejected his pardon. But he got what he deserved, right? I've got news for you. We deserve it too. For, the, for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. We are all guilty of sin. And God says the penalty of sin is death. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Sinners don't deserve to enter heaven. But there is a way in. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Judgment is where we find out where we will live forever. God created us to live forever with him, but the judgment will show whether we truly wanted to be with him or not. Why? What did he ever do for me? God has a plan, and you're in it. At the perfect point in history, God sent his son Jesus to earth on a mission to make the way to make the way clear for us to go to heaven in my father's house are many mansions I go to prepare a place for you and if I go I will come again that where I am there you there ye may be also but there is only one way to enter heaven through the Lord Jesus Christ I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me only the shedding of sinless blood can pay for sin. So Jesus shed his for us. Three days later, he rose from the grave. Jesus has the power over sin and death. Jesus Christ bought our pardon with his blood. Will you accept his pardon? Oh, Lord Jesus, I don't want to live in sin anymore. I believe you died for me. Please forgive me. I don't deserve your pardon. Thank you, Lord. I love you. Or will you reject his love gift? If so, there's only one other place for you. You can choose your eternity. Now, let the wicked forsake his way and let him return unto the Lord, for he will abundantly pardon. Don't be a fool like Gentleman Jim. Receive God's pardon while there is still time. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Do you admit that you're a sinner? Do you believe Jesus died to pay for your sins? Did you ask him to forgive you and come into your heart? If you did, remember this date.
The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.